As the kids approached Quincy Center, Maggie said to her brother, Look, Tom, there's something going on over there. Now, Tom ran over to a crowd of people that had assembled next to the stone memorial. He squeezed past the legs of the grown-ups to get a good view. Now, it's some kind of concert or something, he said to his sister, and indeed it was. Sitting in front of them was a group of five musicians, each holding a gleaming brass instrument. Now, they arranged their music in front of themselves, and the crowd murmured with anticipation. Said Maggie, they're going to start. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rob, and the musicians you see before you are members of the Bay State Circus Band. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And when you see the Bay State Circus Band in your city, you know that the Bay State Circus will be here too. Tickets are on sale at the Big Top for only five cents. But Harry, today is our only show here in Quincy. And after we've done, we will pack everything away and head to the next city for our next show. Can you believe it, Tom? Said Maggie. A real circus right here in Quincy. Oh, I wish we could go. Well, stop wishing, said Tom. We'll be in school at 10 o'clock. And besides, even if we didn't have school, it would cost us three nickels. One for me, one for you, and one for father to go to the show. That's almost 15 cents. We could never afford that. <laughs> Tom looked glum. But at that moment, the musician continued. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few hours, you will be treated to the finest circuit this city has ever seen. It will be a feast for all of your senses. You will see the amazing performers. You will feel the electricity of the air inside the big top. You will see, you will hear music that will tingle your spine as you watch the stupendous feats of the trapeze artists, the acrobats, and of course, the dangerous wild animals. Tom started to jump up and down with excitement. Oh, the animals are my favorite part. I really like the scary ones, like the tiger. Tigers don't aren't that scary, said Maggie. They're actually very intelligent. And they only attack when they're threatened or hungry. Don't pretend to be so brave, Maggie, Tom said. You may be a little bit older than me, but if you ever came upon a tiger that wasn't in a cage, you turn and run just as fast as your legs could carry you. Ladies and gentlemen, before performing our selection for you this morning, allow me to introduce the members of our band and the instruments that they play. May I direct your attention to the four different instruments featured in our band. The trumpet, the French horn, trombone, and tuba. Some of them are big, and some of them are small. But they are all the same in some ways. First of all, each of them is made out of the same metal. That's why they are all called brass instruments, and they are each a part of the same instrument family. It's like our instruments are brother and sister to each other. Our instruments are also similar because they are played in the same way. To make a sound, each of us takes a breath and buzzes our lips like this. We then take that buzz and buzz into a mouthpiece like this. said Maggie. I can't believe you have to buzz your lips to play those instruments. That doesn't make any sense. Hearing Maggie's voice, the musician stopped, turned, and looked at her. Well, my fine young friend, perhaps you have forgotten that we do not play just the mouthpiece. We have to put our mouthpiece into the instrument. And then, when the buzzing passes through our lips into the horn, then amazing sounds come out.
While the musicians were playing, Maggie slunk behind Tom in embarrassment. Father always told me to keep my mouth shut at concerts, she said to him. Oh, I'm always getting myself into trouble. I should have listened to him. Now that there are no more interruptions, allow me to tell you about one more way that we can play our instruments. We can all put something inside of our instruments called a mute. So we're now all going to put mutes inside of our instruments and play that same piece again for you one more time. <laughs> Maggie whispered to her brother, I wonder how they learn to move their fingers so fast. They must practice a lot, said Tom, even more than the trapeze artists. Now, the French horn is a medium-sized instrument. It sounds right in the middle, not very high and not very low. I'd like to introduce Sarah, who will now play something for us on her horn. Thank you. 